All right, to, ladies and gentlemen, when we're thinking about simplifying trigonometric identities, the main important thing that you, you know, we're trying to like simplify it. And if you look at this, um, if we're not seeing something that's gonna be canceled out, we can't use some trig identities, another step we can look at is we can cancel them out if we transfer these two in terms of sine and cosine. As of right now, there's nothing else I can really simplify this. However, if I change these terms in sines and cosines, what you'll notice is it will allow us to cancel them out and simplify this expression further. So if you remember, if I represent cotangent, I can represent cotangent as cosine of theta over sine of theta. Correct? And I can also represent secant as 1 over cosine of theta. So now what you notice, if you're you know, to multiply these across, what would happen is your cosines of theta would cancel out and you'd just be left with 1 over sine of theta. Which, like I said, in keeping it in simplified form, we don't want to leave it as a fraction. We'll write it as its um, reciprocal property. 1 over sine is going to be the cosecant of theta. Okay? Doesn't make sense. Why? I don't understand yeah. how you got cosine of 